Well, hello, welcome again to our reading of the Greek New Testament, and I'm going to finish off chapter 9 of 1 Corinthians. And I got up to verse 19. Eleutheros gaon ek panton pasin em mauton edulosa hinotus pleonas kurdeso ka egenomain tois eudaios hos eudaios hina eudaius kurdeso tois hupenomon hos hupenomon me own autos hupenomon hinotus hupenomon kurdeso Tois anomois hos anamos, me own anamos theu al enamos Christu, hina kudano tus anamus. Egenomen tois asthenesin asthenes, hina tois asthenes kudeso. Uh, tois pasin gegena panta, hina pantos tina soso. Panta de poio dia tolu angelion hina sun koinonos autu genomai. So four, we get own participle from the verb to be. So being a an eleutheros, being a free agent. Uh, the verb here is from do loo. It's an omicron contract verb. I have enslaved. Sorry, I should say being. Being a free, being free from all things, or perhaps all men, it's ambiguous here. Uh, I have enslaved myself, passing to all, and I'll leave it vague as to all, to all things, or to all people. Hina, in order that, kurdeso, I might gain or possibly win over to play on us, the majority, the greater. It's a comparative here, the more. Now just a quick word on this kurdino because it's a little bit tricky here uh, and Paul for some reason changes the, the uh, roots here in the middle of this passage. So just to say something about this, the underlying verb is kurdino if you're looking it up, meaning to gain or to win over. The form we have here is kurdeso which is an aorist subjunctive. Grammatically what's happening is the sigma um, takes away the nu, and this is then lengthening to an eta. The iota disappears. It's an irregular form, but you can see how it's being formed here. So this is the error subjunctive of kurdino. A little later, he's going to use another aorist subjunctive. No difference in meaning, really. It's still an aorist subjunctive, kurdano. And what he's done there, he's taken another aorist form from this verb, which, which would be erkerdana, which is reasonably uh, correctly formed. You've got an aug augment, you've got a vowel gradation here, and then the nu, and there's no sigma in the aorist, because it's a liquid verb. And from that, he's formed another sub aorist subjunctive, which looks different to this one. They're exactly identical in meaning, they're just confusing and they're different, in, they're different in form. Why he's doing this is anyone's guess. It may be the ancients liked this idea of variatio, variation. It may be that both of these forms for the error subjunctive are floating around and he uses this one most of the time and then suddenly he uses this one. So it's a little bit confusing, but I thought I'd just mention that in case you're wondering why we have different forms of the aorist subjunctive here. So, after that slight digression, uh, let me do, so that was the kerdeso here. So, in order that I might win or gain uh, the majority, the more. Uh, and, I have, and uh, I have become like a Jew, or as a Jew, to the Judeans, in order that, kudeso, it's that same form again, I might win over the Jews. To those under the law, understand I have become as one who is under the law. And then not being myself under the law, so not that I am under the law, that is the law of Moses. Uh, I've done all that in order that, so this follows on from the first 
clause here in order that I might gain those under the law. Now the uh, anim animos it, um, means lawless. It's generally a very negative word. It occurs elsewhere in the New Testament, I think. It means lawless. It's generally a bad word. But here it's got a slightly different meaning, I think. It means those not under the law. So to those who are not under the law, I have become as one not under the law. And then, so he's not misunderstood here. Uh, he says, not being uh, law outside of the law of God, but within the law of Christ. So he's worried about being accused here of being a libertine. So he puts that in as a little uh, separate clause here. So I've, I've done all this in order that Cardano, eris subjunctive I mentioned before, uh, it's a slightly different form from curdeso, but it is exactly the same. It's an error subjunctive in order that I might gain or win over those that are outside of the law. Uh, I have become asthenes, weak, to the weak. So to the weak I have become weak in order that I might, and it's gone back to the other form here, that I might win over the, those who are weak. Gegone, I have become from perfect from uh, Ginamai all things to all people. Hina, in order that, so so, future of sozo, panto, something like by every means, by any means possible, I might say, this is a subjunctive actually, not future, sorry, this is a subjunctive, eris subjunctive from sozo, in order that I might save in every possible way by every means ten our some of them. Panta de Poyo dear to you Angelio, um, I have done all these things, I do all these things through the gospel in order that I might become son koinonos, a participant, someone who is has a share with, so a participant how to with it. I think that must refer back to the Evangelion on the Gospel. So I do all these things on account of the Gospel in order that, sorry it's dear tot, so it's on account of the Gospel, uh, in order that I might become a participant with it. Uk oedity hoti hoi and studio trekontes pantes men Trekusin, haste lambane top grabeon, hutos trekete hina catalabete, paste ho agonizomenos panta in cratuetai, e canoi men un hina phthaton stephanon labosin, hemeste aphthaton. Ego toinon hutos treko hos uk adelos, hutos puktuo hos uk a era deron, ala hup o piasdo mu tosoma kai du lagogo, me pos alois keruxas autos a dokimos genomai. Paul likes to have metaphors based on uh, to do with exercise and the wrestling school and um, running people running and exercising and training and so on which was a very common feature of well, all both nowadays and also in antiquity uh, so uk oidity do you not know that it's that standard phrase that paul uses do you not know that hoi trekontes treko is to run so this is a participle, those running in the stadium, all of them, men on the one hand, trekusi, they run, all of them run, and then we get a nice men and de, but uh, we would say only one, one, labane, takes top brabeon, the prize. Uh, interesting word, brabeon, there are other words, there's athlon, there's another word for prize, but here he uses brabeon, it's formed from uh, a brabuse, is an old word, classical word for a judge, 
So top brabeon is that which the judge gives, i.e. it's the prize. And I just mentioned in passing that our modern English word brave is cognate with this word, the brave. So all of them on the one hand run, but only one receives the prize. Run, this is an imperative here, trekete, run in this way, hina, in order that you might take it, that is, the prize. Strong, slightly, str or apprehend it, slightly stronger form of lambano, this is catalambano, in the sense of to grab hold of, to apprehend. So this is the eris subjunctive here. Paste ho agonizomenos, for everyone who is, well, agonizomenos, something like is um, uh, training, uh, encratuitai, uh, exercises self-control, panta, in respect of all things. So this is en kratuamai, and it's that idea of, um, of power, of kratos, so we would say empowered, but here it's got the sense of to, uh, con to have control over oneself. Panta, I think, is adverbial internal here in respect of all things. So the one who is, ag the one who is labouring, uh, it it's can have the sense of um, well, training hard. So the one who is in training exercises self-control over all things or in respect of all things. Uh, now we get a, a menun. There's no debt, of course, here. Um, they, therefore, uh, so, yeah, there's no main verb here. We have, they have to read, it's typical of Paul, he leaves out the verb here. So, that lot, do all this, understood, then, in order that they might take a crown which is phthaton, which is corruptible. It's from thero, is the verb to destroy, and phthaton is a sort of, um, it's a passive adjective, thartos, that which can be, dis that which is corruptible, destruct, um, which can be destroyed, is the sense of it there. So they understand, do all this, therefore, in order that they might receive a crown which is um, short-lived, corruptible. But we, uh, th sorry, there is a debt, there's the debt here, but we do it, afthaton. We do it in order that we might take a crown which is uncorruptible. You've got to add a few bits in here. So sorry, there is a balancing debt here for this. So just quickly doing this again. So they therefore do all this in order that they might receive or take a crown which is short-lived, which is corruptible. We do all this in order that we might receive a crown which is afthaton, just the uh, alpha privative with this adjective, incorruptible. I therefore am running hutos in this way, hos uk Adelos, uh, as one, so I run in this way, as one not Adelos. Uh, funny thing here, it means something like aimlessly, it's an adverb, aimlessly or uncertainly, it is connected with Delos clear, one which lacks any kind of clarity, is literally I think the sense of it. So I therefore am running in this way, not as one who lacks any foresight or clarity, so perhaps aimlessly, uh, hutos in the way, in, uh, so in this way I putuo, I box literally, uh, as uh, one not derone, this is from dero to beat, or strike here, as striking the air, so again, it's a metaphor here. We have to imagine the, the boxer who's boxing and practicing and just punching into the air aimlessly, nor is one who just runs without any particular purpose. So I therefore, uh, I run in this way, not as, not aimlessly, 
uh, and in and in the same way I box not as one striking the air Allah but uh, hupo piasdo another fairly funny word here uh, it means literally to strike under the eye the op root the ops root here is the area of your face and it's under your under your ops under your eye and it hence has the sense of to buffet or to treat roughly or to pommel it might even mean here discipline but i think it's much stronger than that it's the pummel but i pummel uh, my body so i knock my body around kai dul ago go this is from dul uh, ago geo literally to lead away into slavery and hence it means to subjugate so i subjugate my body so i pummel my body and i subjugate it literally i put it into slavery this is a very late word and very rare may pose unless perhaps it's that indefinite pose you see from the accent here lest perhaps i might be um, sorry Kairuxas having proclaimed to others, uh, I myself might become, uh, well, it, Adokimos is, has in the sense of one who has failed the test, one who has found wanting. Uh, some, uh, elsewhere it can, it's translated as reprobate in the New Testament, but I think in this metaphor it probably has the sense of disqualified because it's it's in this idea of a um, an athlete so he's saying i pummel my body and i subjugate it lest perhaps having preached to others having proclaimed to others i myself may be found well wanting or perhaps disqualified and that is the end of chapter nine